And it's never easy attending a child's funeral. We saw emotions running high out here, his family members crying. But once inside the church, once folks started talking about Justin, well, things shifted to more of a celebration, a homegoing for the young boy. And the morning breaks eternal, bright and fair. A heartfelt tribute for Justin Wallace, a celebration of his life, with music and photos that tell a story of a 10 year old little boy gone too soon. No more physical pain, aches, no social, emotional, economical. He doesn't have to deal with all of that. He's in heaven. Justin's family, friends, and even complete strangers are devastated attending his funeral here at the Full Gospel Tabernacle in the Rockaways. It's right around the corner from where he was killed earlier this month. My son said he was a very nice person, yet that he knows of him, and he said that it's very sad. Justin was leaving a family cookout. Police say Javon Young fired the fatal shots into the family's home. Justin never got to celebrate his 11th birthday or graduate from the fifth grade. He died days before. This is not a feeling that you could express, you know what I'm saying? It's like I have a nine-year-old daughter and it's, it's something that I wouldn't try to even imagine. So it's just sad all around, you know? To help heal the pain, words of encouragement to honor the 10-year-old. This pain we have in our hearts must turn into purpose in honor of Justin. We must get justice for Justin. He was a fun-loving fifth grader who had big dreams. He was loved by so many people, but how he died is also haunting so many. It could have been one of my grandkids. I feel for people, you know. It hurt me so bad to see this. That's all I can see. I might break down. As his casket makes its way to its final resting place, this entire community is showing his parents much needed love and support. And Justin's parents did not speak at the funeral, but his sister did, saying that he was the light of the family, such a blessing, and he did so much in the short 10 years of his life. For now, we're live in the Rockaways. Nicole Johnson, Pix 11 News.